Oh, he's kissing her again. I didn't even tell him to do that. Oh my God, wait, wait. Caroline was just here. Did you guys see that? She's running back. Oh my God. and welcome back to another episode of the History of Windenburg. In the last episode, we met the very first royals, King Henry I and Queen Caroline. We met Ravenna, our main character and antagonist. We got the backstory of Ravenna and her plan for revenge. Ravenna was then turned into a vampire by Vlad and he agreed to work with her. And then Ravenna also met King Henry for the first time at the castle in Windenburg. And she also met Queen Caroline very briefly. And Ravenna purposefully ran into King Henry on his nightly stroll and started to seduce him. So in this episode, Ravenna is going to continue her quest to be queen. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. So we are starting this episode at Vlad's Manor. Ravenna has requested some vampire training from Vlad, so that's what they're doing. Vlad is trying to teach Ravenna how to do mind compulsion, which is where vampires can control the mind of another just through eye contact. I feel like this is something that is going to take a lot of practice that Ravenna is probably not going to get right away. While they're doing their vampire training though, I just want to address a few things. I'll address some things first now while they're doing this and then there's some things in the comments and some questions you guys had that I will answer later in the video as well. First thing I forgot to mention, but I did pin this as a comment in the last video, is that the whole end goal of this series is to make a machinima out of this. It's like a little short film sort of thing, probably only gonna be like around maybe 10 minutes or so. And then one other thing I forgot to mention is that Ravenna's whole plan for revenge, she's marrying the king because she wants to be queen, but she's gonna kill him after they have a few kids. I just thought it would be after they have a few kids because I thought that it might be easier for for her to like have more power if she's the mother of whoever the heir is. That was just in my mind. That's what I did in the series when I first started playing. So I'm just gonna stick with that. But yeah, because people were wondering like, why is she marrying King Henry? Doesn't she hate him? And yes, she does. The whole plan is to kill him after she marries him. And then also because some people were mentioning Queen Caroline, I did recommend not to get attached to her, but I totally understand if you guys like a character. I'm not saying you can't, that's totally fine. I just wanna be very upfront with you guys. Oh, okay, Ravenna, I guess, is done with the training, so I'm going to have her do some dark meditation, I guess. But yeah, I just want to be upfront with you guys because this series is very different from my main series. I know a lot of this stuff in this story is wrong, and I know that you guys know that too. Just because I'm telling the story doesn't mean that I think any of what they're doing is right. So Ravenna is going to do some bad things. She is going to kill Queen Caroline. She is going to end up killing King Henry as well. If that's not really the stuff you guys like to watch, that's totally understandable. I recommend watching my main royal family series instead. I just don't want to upset anyone. That's not my intention. So that's why I just wanted to be upfront with you guys, let you guys know that. But yeah, I will get to the other questions and comments and stuff later. So Ravenna is starting her training and learning how to do mind compulsion. Maybe she'll try to do that in this episode. We'll see. But I do think that's something that's going to take more practice. Can she do? No. Okay. Yeah. We can't request any more training. Vlad is like, all right, I'm done. All right, so Ravenna is on level two of the vampire lore skill, and I got her one of the Encyclopedia Vampirical, oh, the Encyclopedia Vampirical Volume 1 book. So we'll say that Vlad gave this to her to study, so I'm going to have her start reading that. But yeah, so I'm going to have Ravenna, st I'll fast forward a bit. So Ravenna's studying as much as she can, and then I'm going to have it, so we'll skip to the next day, and Ravenna's going to meet Henry again on his walk. So in the last episode, they started getting a bit of a romantic relationship. Henry started confiding in her and telling her about what's going on with him and Queen Caroline and how they can't have a baby. I feel like after they left, Henry, oh, okay, she left, oh, she, cool, she's on level three. Um, but I feel like after they left, or like, but, I'm sorry, right before he was about to leave, Henry was telling her like, well, I hope to see you here again sometime. So I think Raven is just gonna keep planning to run into him on the nightly walks and stuff. And then eventually, 
eventually she is going to be killing Queen Caroline. Now in the facts and secrets video that I did for my royal family series, I let you guys know a few facts for the history of Windenburg as well. And I did say that Ravenna used her vampiric powers to kill Queen Caroline, but she made it look like she had drowned. So I'm probably gonna use an animation for it and then just have her do that by the beach where they were. So she would be like by the water. I don't know if that's gonna be in this episode. That might be in the next episode. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I have skipped to the evening of the next day. There's some things that Ravenna has learned from reading all of this. So stuff about plasma packs, which I don't think we need to get into in this series at all. I usually use cheats for their needs anyway, so I'll probably just end up doing that just so I can focus on the story. Now, Ravenna does wanna hide that she is a vampire. I feel like Vlad told her the dangers of if they find out that she's a vampire, like just everyone could turn on her and try to kill her if they find out. So he did tell her that she has to hide the fact that she is a vampire. So we have to make sure, oh, I don't know why she's frozen. I'm gonna reset her. But yeah, I just have to make sure that no one finds out. If they end up finding out, then maybe Ravenna's gonna have to kill them. I don't know, we'll see. But since it's around 6 p.m., so this is about the time that King Henry would go on a stroll, we might be a little bit early, but that's okay. So we're going to go to the castle and we'll go by ourselves. We're gonna go down to the beach and see if we can meet King Henry there. Yeah, you guys are probably gonna just see a lot of background work with the Sims and stuff. Like I'll show you the animation I use with Pose Player, but then when I do the machine, Cinema, it'll be much more cinematic, but in this series for the Let's Play, you guys will get to see all the background stuff. Okay, Ravenna is now at the castle. I'm going to, I'm gonna go here. Oh, she could build a sand sculpture. I'm not gonna have her do that though. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go here, kind of like wait for King Henry to appear. Okay, Ravenna is just chilling here at the beach waiting for King Henry. Um, it might be a little bit earlier than it was last time she met. Wait, I found him. Wait, where are you going? Come here, come here. Uh, oh, I can't call him over. He's too far away. No, come back. Let me go have her, I guess, ask about day. Okay, he, okay, yeah, he stopped. And then maybe I can have them come down here to chat. But she has found him. I want their romantic relationship relationship to at least be like, I would say like halfway or so. And okay, yeah, they're they're jogging to the beach. So they're going on their own walk. And someone did mention too in the comments in the last, oh, whoa, okay. Uh, but someone did mention that it's very common or was very common for the Kings back then to have several mistresses. So unfortunately, I'm sure that he's had other ones too in the past, but it's almost like Ravenna's being Anne Boleyn to King Henry VIII. Like she wants to be queen. She's determined to be queen. I mean, Anne Boleyn didn't kill King Henry VIII's ex-wife, but she's like so determined. So um, he's telling her a pretty dramatic story, but I'm gonna have her flirt. A pickup line, sure. She can do a pickup line. So yeah, we're just, oh no, their friendship is going down. Why? <gasps> Wait, but the romantic relationship is going up. Oh no, okay. All right, this might be a little bit harder. Um, He was not into that. No, wait, come back, don't go, I'm sorry. Let's do a smooth recovery. Don't leave. All right, smooth recovery. He's like, all right. It's a bit of an awkward encounter, so let's do some friendly interactions. Tell dramatic story. Maybe you guys can cloud gaze together. We'll see how this goes. Um, while they're doing that, I will go over and answer some of the comments from the last episode. First one is that people were asking if we're gonna do this with all of my royal families for my royal family series. And no, we are not only doing Windenburg specifically because the first royals that I had, just people were so intrigued by the fact that Ravenna was a vampire. And that's the one that I knew the most. All the other families, I had not played them at all when I was playing. It was like before I was really into the storytelling stuff. Like I don't remember anything about the first royals of the other kingdoms. And then the other ones like in Sulani or in Glimmerbrook or Selva Dorada, I had just made them and create a sim and then like killed them with MC Command Center, like the ancestors. So I didn't even play with those first royals. So no, it's only going to be for Windenburg. Other things are just like my custom content, my Pinterest board with my custom content is in the description below. The Sims, King Henry and Ravenna and Queen Caroline, they are on my gallery, which my gallery ID is also in the video description. So they are cloud gazing and it's a pleasant conversation. I'm gonna have her start flirting again. He might have to go back soon. Like, I don't think it would make sense for him to be gone this long. So this might 
be a thing that takes a few days, but I do want to get a little bit more of a romantic relationship between them. So I'm going to have her confess attraction and see how that goes. He's just on his phone. He's not supposed to be, but that's fine. I'm going to have her ask a risque question. Can you please get off your phone? Okay, he's done. All right, so, oh no. Okay, well, no, abort, 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 abort. Stop it, stop flirting. Oh, can we do a smooth recovery, please? And get to know. I mean, their friendship is like really high. The flirting seems to be going well. Let's just, tr let's try another one. <gasps> they could have their first kiss. Oh, um, let's do it. Let's try it. I don't actually even know if he's going to be okay with that though, or if she's gonna get rejected, but I guess we'll find out. The option appeared, so I just wanted to try it and find out. And if it doesn't work, we'll skip to the next day and have them meet and talk and flirt again. Okay, they, oh, oh, they're having the first kiss. They are, and yep, okay. I was not actually expecting him to kiss her back. I thought she was gonna get rejected. Well, oh, he's kissing her again. I didn't even and tell him to do that. <gasps> he pulled that fake mistletoe thing. All right, so he should get back before people are wondering where he is. So I'm gonna skip to the next day. We're gonna have Ravenna study her vampire stuff a bit more, and then we'll come back here. All right, I changed my mind. So we are not actually gonna go see Ravenna right now. We're gonna focus on Henry and Caroline because I think this will be more interesting. So Henry is coming back from his walk like a lot later than usual. He's just kissed Ravenna. Queen Caroline is 10. She's probably wondering where he is. So I'm gonna have him talk to Caroline. Oh my, whoa, 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 what's happening? What is this? Why is, <gasps> what was that? Oh my gosh, I thought that was some sort of magical powers or something like that. No, I think that was him trying to calm her emotions. So that's interesting, but she's still tense. That was really, really strange. I've never seen that before. Oh, okay, now she's arguing with him. So now they're arguing. I mean, they've kind of been rocky for the past few weeks. And now he was like outlaid and Caroline had to be worried about that. I think that maybe she'll be growing a little bit suspicious. And as I mentioned before, I'm sure that Henry has had other mistresses in the past. And I think Caroline like kind of knows about it. Oh, okay, yeah. And then Henry's arguing back too. So I'm sure he's just being defensive. So yeah, this should be interesting. Currently, Ravenna, she's going back to Vlad's manor. I imagine she's staying there for the most part. I don't have her officially moved into there. She's moved into the empty lot lot next door, but I'll have her officially move into there. But yeah, this is what's going on with Henry and Caroline. I thought you guys might want a little bit of insight on that. Obviously we feel bad for Caroline. She doesn't deserve any of this, but this is what's happening in this story. All right, so we have skipped to the next day. We are now at Vlad's Manor again. Ravenna is doing her vampire training. She's already on level 12 of the vampiric lore skill. I was shocked. She was on like level three before or something something like that and suddenly she's on level 12. So she's been working her butt off to be a really good vampire apparently. She's very motivated by her want for revenge. So the, is, is he training her? Be mentored, yeah, okay. Actually, this is around the time she would go meet Henry on his walk now. So let's speed through the vampire training and then we're gonna meet Henry again. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, oh, oh whoa, he just disappeared. Uh, So I guess they're done. All right, let's go back to the Windenburg Palace. Okay, Ravenna and Henry are back in their usual spot. She has met him during his walk and they are flirting a bit. I'm doing a mix between the friendly interactions and the romantic interactions. I don't actually know if he would tell her about his argument with Caroline. Maybe it would come up. I feel like they're talking a lot, so maybe it would come up. I mean, he has been confiding in her anyway. So yeah, maybe he would tell her about their argument too. But yeah, they're cloud gazing right now. And Ravenna is, I mean, like her vampiric lore skill level is pretty high. So I feel like there is definitely some things that she can do. I feel like the mind control thing is one of the more difficult things to do. But as far as like using her powers to kill someone, I don't think that's that difficult for her to do. I don't know. The mind control thing just sounds very complicated. So I would think that's more difficult. All right, they are done cloud gazing. And let's do ask about day. Let's just 
just do some more friendly interactions. Um, I guess we'll flirt more. I forgot how difficult it is to do this. I know this might sound bad, but a lot of the ways that I had played before, even in The Sims 3, when I would play is I would ma just like make a Sim who started with nothing. And then I would have her try to marry or date one of the like rich Sims, like from the Alto family or something like that. I never like to have them work for the money. This sounds so bad. I never like to have them work for their money <laughs> so they can have a big house. I just wanted the Sim to marry rich. Okay, but we are in a suggestive conversation. King Henry is feeling flirty. He's in a flirty mood. So this is going to probably be easier to flirt with him now. So I'm having her hold hands and flirt, blow a kiss. Okay, but their romantic relationship is getting like really high. It is getting late again though, and I'm sure because of the argument that Henry had with Caroline. I don't know if he'd want to be back sooner. Then again, he is the king and he kind of just does what he wants, but their romantic really, oh, let's do a passionate kiss first. Their romantic relationship is very high. It's like almost full and it's a steamy exchange right now. And he's feeling, oh, they're both feeling very flirty. Okay, so they've kissed and they're saying their goodbye. So Henry, well, I don't know where he's going, but he's supposed to go back up there to the palace. Oh, he just left. Okay, well, let's pretend that he walked up there. Oh my God, wait, wait, Caroline was just here. Did you guys see that? She's running back. Oh my God. All right, so Queen Caroline's turned back around. She's coming this way. Okay. Um, so if she was there the whole time, she definitely saw all of that. Oh, and she's enraged. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, Caroline saw all of that. I feel like she was probably just so suspicious that she ended up following Henry. She followed him on his walk, saw him and Ravenna kiss. And now she's confronting Ravenna about it. I'm sure that Caroline is threatening Ravenna too. She's probably gonna make it very difficult for her to even see Henry now. Like, I feel like that's what she's saying. I don't know if Ravenna can afford that though. Like, it's already hard enough to see Henry unless she gets a job at the palace, which some people had suggested and, and would also make sense, but I just don't know if we're gonna do all that. I think right now her only option would be to be meeting him here. And I don't think she can afford to not see him or anything like that. So I wonder if she would kill Caroline now. I wasn't actually planning on doing this in this episode. I was thinking maybe the next episode, but we're already here. So, to make it look like she drowned, I, I'm sure Ravenna has this planned. Um, let's go over here, chat here. I don't know why she would be telling them to go over there, but maybe somehow the fight and the arguments is just drifted over this way. Okay, yeah, Caroline's going over there. So I'm gonna have them argue a little bit more. So to do the killing, um, I will tell you guys the animation is a little bit, not graphic. I don't know, I think it's a little bit eh when I watch it. I don't like watching it very much. I actually used it for the intro in the first episode and the last episode, but I didn't show all of it. It's this animation, it's by MST, and it is originally supposed to be a spellcaster animation, but I thought it definitely made sense for a vampire to use it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So you guys are about to see the background stuff for this. Again, when I do the actual machinima, it'll feel a little bit more realistic because you won't see me using pose player, but I'll just show you guys how I do this. So I'm going to teleport Queen Caroline here, and then we are going to go to Pose by Pack. The animation is called Magic Spells Couple, because there's two people. So Caroline is the victim, so I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna choose the victim for her. And then for Ravenna, it is, go to Pose by Pack. And then again, the Magic Spells Couple, and she is the witch, or in this case, the vampire. So yeah, I'm gonna do this animation, and then Caroline's gonna end on the floor, and then, I know they look really weird merged together right now, sorry about that. But then I'm going to use MC Command Center. I guess I'll put it and set it so it says death by drowning. All right, again, just a heads up, this looks a little weird and creepy. So now Ravenna is killing Caroline. Yeah, yeah, it's a little weird, okay. And there you go, all right. So we're gonna say that is Ravenna killing Caroline. So even though it didn't look like she like slams her to the floor or anything like that, we're gonna say Caroline is deceased. So yeah, Ravenna just killed Queen Caroline. And uh, okay, so let's actually do the whole Grim Reaper thing, have him come here. So through MC Command Center, go to Sim Commands, maintain Sim, kill Sim, death, 
by... Oh, death by... Drowning is not on this list. All right, so since I couldn't do death by drowning on MC Command Center, I made it thunderstorm instead. So I'm just going to have it say that she died by electrocution or by lightning. So she was struck by lightning during the thunderstorm. And then maybe the waves were too strong during the storm and like washed her up or something like that. So it could really either be death by drowning or death by lightning. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do this now. Sorry guys, I know this is horrible. I'm so sorry. So kill Sim and then death by lightning. Okay. Oh, oh, all right. She's just dead and her ghost is laying there now, but they were gonna find her body before. So in the next episode, they're gonna find her body. All right, we're gonna end this episode here. Let me know your thoughts on everything and what you think might happen in the next episode. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.